happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, Kate. In out of the box. Hello and welcome to Radio Waves by Totterbert. If you enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon so you don't miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us is the XH Data D219. This is an AM FM shortwave portable radio, 10 kHz version. Yep, you heard it right. 10 kHz stepping on the medium wave band, now available in the U.S. Rock on. I'll have links below. Right now they're selling at walmart.com, believe it or not. Uh, soon to be on Amazon, hopefully. And, of course, on their website. So, yeah, uh, they, they heard our emails. We sent a lot of them to the company asking for a 10 kHz version of this sweetheart of a radio. And they did. So here's the box. The only difference on the box is a picture. You notice the AM band there. It says 1710. On the original, I have one right over here. You can see the AM band only goes to 1620. This is the 9K version. So it only stepped in 9 kilohertz steps, which didn't always land on the right frequency on the medium wave. So it made it less enjoyable there. But this radio overall was rocking on FM shortwave. And they just made it better by coming out with this version. So, yeah. Um, took everything out of the box. Let's show you what you get. Do a full review. And, of course, we'll hit the AM band tonight. I'm going to do full band scans as well uh, in the future. So here's the radio. Uh, pretty much uh, looks the same as the other one, the 9K, if you have one, except the bottom printing. As you can see, the AM band is 520 to 1710. Yes, we get our expanded band as well. Uh, we get a instruction manual. Yes, function of keys. This looks pretty basic. There you go. Let's go ahead and open this up for posterity if you want to know what they printed. <laughs> it is super basic to operate. Uh, you don't really need instructions, but here you are anyway. There's some specifications, contact information, and I think an illustration there on the other side. Okay, cool. So, done with that. Let's get to the radio. Dimensions should be the same as the original, but we'll go through it like a normal review. This is five and a quarter inches in length, three inches in height, and a depth of one and one eighth of an inch. Size comparison. I always have some radios hanging around. Let me just bring this up a little bit. What do we got handy? We always have like CC Pocket around. Rocking it out. Okay, so current time is 11.24 p.m. Central Daylight Time. I'm near Chicago, Illinois, USA. Give you idea of location. If we go on shortwave or if we're on AM band. Awesome. Next we have the CC Skywave. Use this as a frequency checker. Um, with the DSP radio, digital signal processor, they can be a little finicky. You got to go back and forth to try to find the frequency. And sometimes you need a digital radio to confirm what frequency you're hearing. <laughs> so you might see me bring out the Skywave just to check to see where we're at on the dial. And of course we have a deck of cards if you don't have those two radios. Iron Man, yeah! He's the man with the master plan. He loves x Jadas from Channel Land. Say it with me. <laughs> He's the master man. Loves his shortwave radios, man. Da, 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 da. And keep going and going. But there you go. Deck of cards. Iron Man approves. I approve of this video. <laughs> that was horrible, I know. But, you know, I had to keep doing it. <laughs> I'll zoom it back on down. See how close we can get. All right. That's good enough. <laughs> so let's score features. Of the D219. Uh, if you haven't known already or if you don't own one of these, uh, pretty cool radio. Uh, if you're in the US watching this, you're going to want this one for sure. Just click the button below and get yourself one for, I think it's like $12.79 at Walmart. Yeah, it's a great bargain. Uh, good plastics, uh, nothing on the left hand side of the radio, but just a solid build. Overall, fit and finish is pretty good for a $12 radio. I'm impressed. On the front here, uh, we have a two and a quarter inch speaker. XH data. We have our dial uh, FM1, FM2, as you can see. Not bad. So we got an expanded FM. Shortwave is divided out into nine segments, as you can see there. Kind of bring it up close so you can see the coverage here. Not bad at all. Of course, our AM scale I showed you. We have a power LED indicator, turns red when the radio is on. We have our band select switch here. It's pretty solid, and you can see the little white in the window there, so you know where you're at. So there's FM2, there's AM. And then, of course, our shortwave bands, which we'll check out tonight. Awesome. 
Right inside of the radio, we have our tuning wheel and volume control. And then we have a carry strap at the bottom. Top of the radio is interesting. We have our whip antenna for shortwave and FM reception. It extends out to 21 inches. AM FM shortwave. Uh, DC input, uh, 5 volts input. If you notice, it's reverse polarity. Just note that if you're building your own setup. Outside sleeve is positive and the post is negative. Here you go. Uh, here we have our headphone jack. Headphone experience is good. Uh, it actually improved over the original model, unless uh, I'm hearing things that are different. But uh, instead of moderate hiss, it has low level hiss. So the hiss uh, factor uh, went down. So if you like low volume, you'll like this one. Um, FM is mono both ears. Uh, expect moderate lows, strong mids, and strong highs in FM. And music is pleasing to listen to. AM and uh, shortwave is low tone, good for DXing, talk radio, and fading of shortwave signals. On off switch, nice. And on the back, we have a kick out stand. Flip out, there we go. Boom, we can stand it up like that. Beautiful thing. And of course, you can close it, and of course, it'll stand like this, no problem. Pretty stable. And we have a little battery door, open that up. And behind here, we have two standard AA batteries. That's a thing of beauty. <laughs> this little radio is a great backup radio. All right, and on the bottom, of course, you can see the feet there. Pretty simple. All right, cool. So, yeah, let's go over uh, so the FM reception report. I always like to do that. Uh, I base it on a five-tier method. Good, very, or sorry, fair, okay, good, very good, excellent. Uh, this radio scored slightly better than its predecessor, <laughs> the 9K version, which uh, might just be conditions. Uh, this scored uh, a total of uh, 75 stations, which gives it a good to very good rating on sensitivity. Uh, you know, this radio is super sensitive. This whip here with the shortwave and FM is just phenomenal. Uh, also, uh, selectivity was good on FM. Uh, better than AM. AM's a little trickier. Got to go back and forth, and sometimes strong stations will keep you from getting fainter signals. Uh, just have patience on AM band. But FM, not an issue at all. Uh, and a shortwave similar, not an issue. So uh, just a great, fun radio to tune. So expect uh, about a three and a half star rating on FM, above average. Great. Uh, so we're going to turn it on, and uh, we're going to do some uh, tuning on the, uh, or demoing on the FM band. Uh, let's show you what I got. I have a FM transmitter 2 and 92.9 megahertz. And I have a little Sony MP3 player right here. We're going to play some tunes. Let me turn it on. There we are. And you can see it's flashing there. And we're going to transmit to the radio some royalty free music so we can do a demo of the speaker. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Get the on switch here. We'll run this for a couple minutes. And then we'll uh, go through the bands. First, we'll go through the AM band. See what the 10k stepping is like. And then we'll uh, hit the shortwave band, see what we can find there.
the speaker pretty quiet. Nice. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. This little demo give you an idea in general. Uh, what you do is you compare that to my other videos where I do the, play the exact same tracks and uh, you can hear the different uh, tones of the speaker through the speakers you're using. So um, if you're using headphones or if you have a home entertainment system and you're watching this, you'll be able to get a good idea of what this sounds like compared to other radios. Um, you know, like say a, a CC Pocket. <laughs> this is going to sound better, by the way. For a $12 radio, amazing speaker audio too, by the way. Just love it. Um, nice bright tone, but not uh, piercing to the ears. Love it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to turn off stuff. I'm going to make sure everything's off. Okay, so nothing to interfere. We're going to go ahead and go to the AM band. Yeah, that's what this radio's about. The 10K version. Yeah, now in 10K. Um, I'm so happy that they did this. <laughs> Way to go. Props to XH Data again for making a 10K radio step. I love it. So we're going to go to the bottom here. Uh, I was going through this during the day, and yeah, it was tricky uh, getting signals going back and forth. Might be the same way in the evening. The other night, I was finding quite a bit, though. So we'll see how today's conditions are. Um, but expect full uh, AM band scans in the daytime and in the evening. So right now, our current time, we're at 11.33 uh, p.m. Central Daylight Time, Chicago, Illinois, USA. So we are at the bottom. It'll tune in steps because that is a DSP, Digital Signal Processor. So here's 540 WAUK, Jackson, Wisconsin. I got my little cheat sheet over to my right here to give me ideas in case I forget. This is uh, 70 miles to the north, but it goes to 400 watts at night. So the antenna's on the inside, of course, it's internal ferrite for the AM band. And of course, you just turn the radio to tune it. If you love classic radio shows, The Shadow, Jack Benny, The Lone Ranger, Dragnet, Gunsmoke, and many more, we have them for you on Hollywood 360. We'll also present trivia contests with prizes, showbiz news, celebrity interviews, games, and movie reviews. So don't miss Hollywood 360 every Saturday night beginning at 8 p.m. on AM 560, The Answer. Nice, yeah, they have old-time radio on weekends on 560. WIND Chicago. This hourly segment is brought to you by the Money Hour Radio Show, Saturday afternoons at 3 on AM560, The Answer. Brought to you by Pearshell Financial Group. Okay, I got some country music. Where do you think we're at with country music? I have no idea. There shouldn't be country music this low. I wonder if it jumps. See, this radio has a tendency to jump. Um, I have my Skywave here. See, 6.30 is where country music is usually. So, yeah, I made a huge jump. <laughs> so, we're at... Uh, this is CFCO, 630 Chatham, Ontario, 310 miles, 6,000 watts, broadcasting power from the north uh, east. Here's 620 WTMJ, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 52 miles to the north, 10,000 watts. Of course, you can point the radio to the south as well. It's uh, bi-directional. And finally, after three, three contractors... Got the house finished. 6.30. still? I think I heard it. So this is harder than they say on TikTok, huh? <laughs> Much harder with the residential contractors. It's a different, different. How much do you want? Uh, no, all, all the idiots on TikTok have to use residential contractors too. Rangers third straight went top the White Sox five two. Diamondbacks six in the first. State and local news affecting the black community. Listen to the black information network on the radio. Okay, here's six forty uh, WMFN, Pito, Illinois, seventy five miles away. Thank you. 
and join the National Phone Mirror Registry at seethematch.org. I'm wondering if uh, 650, <clears throat> excuse me, 650 is there, losing my voice. <laughs> okay, 650 isn't there, so yeah, that's why it's not picking it up. So let's go to the sports stations. Specialty loaner tools, which are available to help you with your next repair. So here's 670, the score, WCR, Chicago. Auto parts today, or visit O'ReillyAuto.com. What is that? My mortgage Coming in nice and clear. I think the 9K version uh, do all right, um, but this does a lot nicer. We could get a lower rate without refinancing our mortgage, so I'm keeping a close eye on mortgage rates. Uh, They're dropping. Uh, Call me. So anyway, that's right. That's right. Yeah, I wanted to get all them rod. Yeah, I wanted to get a hold of you because you know. I, I think this is 700 uh, WLW, Cincinnati, Ohio, 300 miles. You know, the trucking industry. The yes, it is uh, trucking. Nice. So we're on 700. And it's, you know, it, it, it's difficult. We're kind of operating in a vacuum here. And so I wanted to get a hold of you and, and kind of get your... Hmm. I have no idea. I would only be guessing. 720 oh, WGN. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about... The Raleigh James Show. Where no man has gone before. City on the Edge of Forever. Ah, uh, yes. The one with Edith Keeler and the whole business of uh, altered time. Well, there you are. Okay, the music here is 740. Uh, CFZM, Toronto, Ontario, Zoomer Radio, 460 miles to the northeast. So 760 WJR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. You're getting an idea what this radio can do on medium wave 10K. It's nice. You must we'll go up to around 800 or 900, and I'm going to go right to short wave. You must say, apparently, that the term sex assigned at birth should be used. 740. At birth, which again is gender nonsense. Please, Rexa was treated at a hospital. Police have charged a 20... Here's 780 WBBM Chicago. A news radio, old-time radio at 12 a.m. to 1 a.m. During the weekdays. It's coming up. CBS's Vicki Barker reports from the foreign desk in London. Rapidly melting glacier. I have always said, love my country, hate my government. <laughs> Thanks, man. Thanks for the call. Appreciate that. Thank you. Here's 840 WHAS, Louisville, Kentucky. Um, this is ground zero right now. Coast to Coast comes on in about uh, 20 minutes. It's really difficult. Um, 2008, me and my wife were living just like normal people. The only thing is, uh, he retains possession of those. Even. Okay, it jumped. Not sure what that is. That could be 870. Oh, there we go. 860 CJBC, Toronto, Ontario. To judicial watch. So as conditions improve, you'll be able to pick up New York 880. Right now it's just jumping to the strongest station. This is 890. It's latching to the stronger stations. High pitch wine coming from the camera. Okay, so now I'm just going to go up to the top of the band. Then we're going to go to shortwave. See what we can do on shortwave tonight. Thank you very much for Fox Sports Radio. Hey, this is Jason Stephanie. We're going to fire the retainer to you, your passengers, 
Jeremy Swayman. Al Griffith, WBZ, Boston's News Radio. Traffic and weather together. The Subaru retailers of New England. All wheel drive. Traffic on the threes. Oh, it's booming. <laughs> this is 880 miles, Boston, Massachusetts. It's, uh, yeah, northeast. Amazing that we're getting it. Sweet radio. 128 North Fork Crew Delay is at Great Fine Road in Beverly. On June 21st, you can view these tracks online at stephasgroup.com. That's stephasgroup.com. I hope you'll join me for that, too. Let's go to the lines here. It's always, uh, like I say, it's like rolling through the retirement and income radio show. This week, I'll be on at 7 a.m. Saturday morning so we can enjoy the afternoon baseball game. Call me now for my free retirement and income book at 844-513-7233. Your initial CW, um, did you ever get involved with ham radio? Um, well, now why would that work with ham radio? Well, CW means self-deception. Well, how does any kind of plans for the sermon? That has stated all the questions. Crazy consolidation over the next 18 months. Ever. Off the battlefield, wounded warrior. Here in the south with uh, so 60 million dollars. And I almost. Why do you say stuff like that? Hey, they didn't know that the. This is sixteen ten C H H A Toronto. And you're 1700 KBGG. Okay, cool. So there you go. 10K stepping. Awesome. Thank you, XH Data, for putting that on our radio. That's just awesome for 12 bucks. I mean, yeah, you can't beat this little dude. Um, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start on shortwave one, which is 4.75 megahertz to 5.06. So yeah, let's go down here. And I have a little wire I'm going to clip to the whip antenna. It does a good job. It's just a little, I think, 12 or 15 foot wire going to the blinds inside of my window. I'm going to subfloor basement. This gives me a little bit of uh, extra reception downstairs. It does a fine job. So let's go ahead and turn it up and tune the band. This is uh, Nashville, Tennessee, I believe. certain commerce or to be heard or platform. And so I started getting real inspired by like the honest, like people that, uh, that no one messes with. Get uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, WWV, time signal, 5 megahertz. Okay, let's go to the next band. We'll work our way backwards there. 6.4 to 5.6. OK, 
kind of a fading signal from Cuba. So this is um, 1010 Toronto, which I believe is 60, 70 kilohertz, or 6.07 megahertz. Cuba on 6 megahertz. The dial isn't super accurate, but uh, we're close. I think it's out of Florida. I just have your responsibility to keep the church, but I've just assumed you leave with that attitude. Call me the rest of the room. You're either stupid. It was the model after the model after the day before. Whatever. It's in Congress. And it's in a victory of all. That's the end of you. You die. So, quite a bit you could find in the evening, too, in my location. We got the patience. We'll go one more band, then we'll call it. I may do an FM dedicated band scan as well in the future. Yeah, this thing's awesome. Uh, like I said, uh, I'll try to do an FM band scan, like a full one for the uh, dedicated video, but I'll definitely have full AM band scans for the daytime and evening, to, so watch for those. Um, awesome radio, guys. Um, switch on top here. Uh, again, takeaways, 10 kilohertz tuning. I am so excited, stoked about that. This is just a big deal. Um, headphone audio is nice. Um, runs on AA batteries. It's inexpensive. It's got an external power jack. Uh, the only cons is I wish I had a tuning LED. I wish it had the headphone and external power jack on the side versus on top. It's just me um, storing this radio. Dust is going to get in there. Uh, it's a weird position to have it next to the antenna like this. Uh, just would be nice if it was on the side of the radio. Um, something maybe in the future we'll see. Who knows? <laughs> Those are the cons, but overall, this thing is totally worth the money. Check out the links below. Sports channel, you guys are amazing. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and look at the 10 kilohertz version. Yeah, um, just a little sweetheart of a radio. You're gonna have a lot of fun discovering what's out there on the radio waves. So <laughs> cool. Start your journey here if you haven't already, um, or if you want to just have another radio in your collection. This is one to add for sure. No brainer. <laughs> so definitely, um, give me a like if you like the video. Uh, two, of course, uh, if you like XH, XH data radios, receivers, uh, they make quite a bit of, uh, I mean, all different models, uh, digital, analog. Uh, they're a really good company. Just subscribe at the bell icon, get notified of future reviews and comparisons. And three, comment below uh, what you think about the 10 kilohertz step version. Are you in the market for one? 
Uh, do you have the 9 kilohertz? Do you feel like you're going to want to get the 10 kilohertz version as well if you uh, live in the States? Let me know. Tell me below. All right, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in my next video.